What's good YouTube and welcome to the house. So much has happened since I've been gone on vacation but remember I'm changing the titles of these videos so as many likes as I can get comments in the comment section down below about the video it really helps me continue to get traction and do what I love to do for a living which is make Yu-Gi-Oh videos. Starting out Instant Fusion Ultimate Rare as you can see on screen has really gotten bought out to a point of 85 freaking dollars. Now I actually think this should have happened a lot long time ago. Instant Fusion has been a multi-format staple that always finds itself in refined formats. You can use this in Orcus for Thousand Eyes Restrict as an extender. You can use this in Pure Thunder as both a starter and an extender. There's so many uses for this within this current format and past formats that the fully hollowed out form, I think, long long ago should have been above $70 and I think after this buyout it will have trouble going below a price of $70. We see a fresh listing over on eBay at $78 and then $88. Also to note TCG Player did have a sale while I was gone 8% bonus bucks back. If you kept up with my community tab you would have known that and hopefully you use my link in the description down below costing you nothing extra at all and supporting the channel directly for cards you'd already be buying. Now if you're kind of sad about Ulti Instant Fusion being so much, there is another amazing kind of foil, it's a common in DT, version of Instant Fusion, which is the Dual Terminal 4 one. It has the original Dual Terminal foiling, not the Shatter foiling that a lot of people don't seem to like, and it's still as cheap as $5 for your copies to get this variant. There's other hollow versions around the $5 mark for Super Rares as well, so while it is getting more expensive and it's a long-term staple uh, within formats that comes up time and time again. It's not everybody's cup of tea at the same time, but I think this is very deserving of a price point above $70. Now, at its current price, I might wait for it to cool back off a little bit because anytime there's a buyout, there's going to be people who want to make sales right after. Speaking of instant fusion targets, Kaminari Attack is up even for the super played and moderately played, lightly played, whatever played versions of them, and it's going to be hard for you to find near mint copies at all, especially if you're looking for first editions to really play your optimal copies. So, Good luck hunting those down. It looks like the cheapest are 5 to $6 even for damaged ones. Lunalite Serenade Dance saw a slight baby bump buyout and is now towards $10. It was at 15 at one point. Somebody messaged me during vacation and showed me. Basically, you can use Foolish Burial Goods or end up sending this to Graveyard during your combo without having to use that card. And you're able to uh, use it to special summon any Lunalite monster from your deck at just the cost of sending a card from hand to Graveyard. Trading out anything for a Kaleido Chick or whatever you may need is very very powerful and this is also locked behind a legendary duelist wall which uh, you know as a side set then it get bought a whole ton uh, and we see the market price actually for the sealed has been going up over time since I suggested them at $40 you could get this for 40 sealed and uh, another card in here uh, that's going up that I'll talk about more at the end is Lieb the super dreadnought real cannon juggernaut uh, it's towards $15 and we'll talk about that at the end Grin Maju De Isa, it's pretty much five dollars for all copies. There's one three dollar copy of IOC before it's like six to seven, so the DR2 is actually cheaper than that. It won a YCS. There were two YCSs, and there was a Danger OTK deck featuring three Grin Majus, so people didn't call it the Grin Maju deck, but it still was in there very persistently. And then there was also a Luna Light deck that took down a YCS because there was two in the same week and confusing people on results and what happened. Oh, I thought the YCS was over. What do you mean, you know, Danger OTK won? So there's that. And speaking of dangers in the Megaton, Jack Lope trekking on towards 15. Yesterday on stream, we saw two Boral Swords on TCG Player under $10. I was losing my mind. Under $10 for Boral Sword. And we see that it, there's a couple just under 11 over here on eBay. The competition is so fierce with the Megatons. We're seeing prices we would have never expected. Danger Suchinoko has been creeping up towards 10 as well. The dangers seem to have people thinking, well, these will probably survive another ban list better than any of the other cards. They've semi-limited them. They're unlikely to go for for their throats and they're more likely to go for the throats of sky striker and thunder and with that we do see some of the thunder prices falling a lot of these were hanging around five lowest when i've come back they're around four lowest and the rest of the set just continues to fall because so many people want to sell their stuff now the prismatic ones hey those are going up a little and of course you can get your nightmares and everything still super duper freaking cheap and there's so much to pick up from this set if you've been waiting now's pretty much the time looking through the legend 
legendary duelist of mortal destiny if you missed my video uh yesterday please watch it konami it's time to stop the short prints are sicker in the set than almost ever before it's the secret force is called and they'd like their ratios back please this is just sick people are pulling one to two per case not even play sets of both evil hero malicious bane and a dusted gold at least over here in the u.s and tier zero also sold out very quickly on their pre-sales i still need to hit them up about their ratios but it seems like theirs were sickly terrible as well i know a lot of vendors just stopped opening this wanted to stop taking the l and tried to sell this sealed while taking up other people's pre-orders so i really hope those get fulfilled by the people that they're buying from because quantities are going to be short 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 and we see curse of necrofear it was much cheaper the other day people learning that it's shorted as well up oh, there it goes up in price looking through rising rampage oh no this is up 25 more dollars yeah it'll be 350 before too long again and we see seahorse down from 200 down from towards 175 the, the prismatics are just going to have competition and continuing lowering in price for a while till sealed rising rampage is relatively off the market for its first edition since these don't come in the special editions and then we'll see the true prices settle apolosa under 50 dollars is a nice look at 48 despite the tcg player so i'm um, that's super welcoming and we also see that gizmech orochi is towards 50 and i think i have this actually up later in tabs but that's just a note it was down towards 12 we see it in i believe that danger otk deck and we see it in a lot of orcas decks if you're an orcas player you really should have access to this i want to say need you really should have access to this though you should not put this off i think this is one of the cards that will rise to the top of rising Rampage. I could easily see this being $30 at some point. Phantasme is sneaking back up from the place it was at. We look over on eBay. It's starting to go up as well. This person has theirs uh, terribly described. It's in a sleeve and marked used. It looks near mint. Good luck taking the risk on that at 73 if you're desperate. Hopefully it's not creased all along the back. And then the next lowest start out at uh, 78 before quickly, quickly rising to where TCG players at. You'll get motivated sellers still trying to get rid of theirs quickly at times but it looks like as we enter the kind of roundabout meta season for the winter some of these prices are heating up instead of cooling we usually get some coolant during the winter especially towards christmas where tournaments cool down but right now we've got so many ycs's in a row with fort worth which i'll be at next week hope to see you there don't be shy come up say hi if you want me to sign any cards very glad to do so and always willing to listen to anything but a bad beat story i don't want to hear how you lost your last round pot of extravagance is at 65 66 67 dollars at least it's not 70 it's been hanging around its price but over here on ebay we see one nice one at 62 before 64 65 it's a little cheaper on ebay at first so if you're really desperate for those shop over there but i think this is a card that again for how many decks it's in versus its price point isn't really deserving of the price point but that's the short print game again gizmech orochi i think is proving itself in more decks outside of just orcust and i think it should be noted this is an amazing generic card that has the ability to put itself as a body on board time and time again it's something just to consider having a play play set of period and we see over on ebay it's towards that 15 dollars price point too it wasn't just the tcg player sale or anything now for a deal drone lock ultimates actually at a cheaper price than i've ever seen it while it's not currently being used in this format i think we'll see formats where it revolves back in many decks are used to playing around adding to hand because oh look at this note official tournament stores must review their konami ots agreement before selling this product all right all right because it's eight i guess that's only three behind so soon it will be for all ots's okay interesting anyways we see this card it's down towards uh 44 45 dollars many sellers lining up to sell and over on ebay uh you got those sponsored boys it's similar but does quickly rise at this point so like there's way fewer over here the competition is ramped up on tcg player and if you've been considering this for some time i think there will be a point where this is 75 again there will be a format like when this actually still gets activated on me while i'm using pure thunder there goes matrix there goes dark there goes regular thunder dragon if i've lured or anything so droll can still be very very devastating and i think uh the ultimate rare is something to consider as it's dipped 
all the way down here in price but has very lower quantities on ebay and the juggernaut leap i think this is just amazingly generic and you can even sneak it into a thunder extra deck if you have space i think that leap can steal games i think it's very similar to the meme of utopia double but unlike utopia double which is locked behind a 30 dollars msrp box it's in legendary duelist which has the potential to really rise over time i think leap is the closest to the medic uh, like a meta game card within here besides you know your wuna white cards and uh but being more generic it can end up in a lot more places and i think it could very well be a top of this set in the future as its price continues to rise so it's just something i would continue to consider having sooner than later putting it on your list increasing your priorities towards it because look at this there's only six results for prices over here on ebay that then, then it's gone it's it's just out and over here what are the quantities total of eight prices eight sellers so with low low quantities for something that's relatively generic i could easily see the staying atop this legendary duels but right now there's not really blood in the water it's just up a couple of dollars and people are taking their time with it so you still have a chance to get yours because we have awesome motivated sellers such as my buddy over at one up tcg uh he's a really good store owner thank you so much for watching everybody please like this video if you did enjoy it like i said comment about the things that have happened suggestions i'm making and let me know what i missed while i'm gone yes for once i'm saying i missed things possibly because i was really not looking at my phone while i was at disney with my wife too much thank you everybody for watching and uh we'll see you in the next one